नमस्कार मी मेघना वाघ पुन्हा एकदा आपल्या सर्वांचे मनपूर्वक स्वागत मागील भागामध्ये आपण बघितले अप्लाईड केमेस्ट्रीमधला पहिला चॅप्टर मेटल अलॉय सिमेंट अँड रिफ्रॅक्टरीजमध्ये आपण एक्स्ट्रॅक्शन ऑफ आयर्न मेटल तसेच एक्स्ट्रॅक्शन ऑफ कॉपर बघितले आता आपण बघूया प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल अलॉय डेफिनेशन ऑफ अलॉय टाईप्स ऑफ अलॉय पर्पजेस ऑफ मेकिंग अलॉय अँड मेथड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अलॉय फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज डिफरंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मेटल इज हार्डनेस हार्डनेस इट इज द एबिलिटी ऑफ मेटल टू वेअर अँड पेनिट्रेशन टंगस्टन इज द हार्डेस्ट मेटल अँड पोटॅशियम इज द सॉफ्टेस्ट मेटल सेकंड प्रॉपर्टी इज डक्टिलिटी इट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मेटल बाय व्हर्च्यू ऑफ विच मेटल कॅन बी ड्रॉन इन टू थिन वायर्स विदाउट ब्रेकिंग फॉर एक्झाम्पल गोल्ड सिल्वर प्लॅटिनम कॉपर एक्सेट्रा नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज मॅलेबिलिटी इट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मेटल बाय मीन्स ऑफ विच मेटल कॅन बी ड्रॉन इन टू थिन शीट्स विदाउट ब्रेकिंग फॉर एक्झाम्पल गोल्ड सिल्वर ॲल्युमिनियम आयर्न एक्सेट्रा नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मेटल इज टफनेस टफनेस इट इज द शॉक ॲब्सॉर्प्शन प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मेटल फॉर एक्झाम्पल आयर्न ॲल्युमिनियम कॉपर नेक्स्ट इज वेल्डॅबिलिटी दॅट मीन्स जॉयनिंग डिफरंट मेटल पार्ट्स बाय गिविंग हीट ॲट देअर एंड फॉर एक्झाम्पल गोल्ड आयर्न कॉपर एक्सेट्रा नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मेटल इज टेन्साईल स्ट्रेंथ इट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मेटल बाय मीन्स ऑफ विच मेटल कॅरी लोड विदाउट ब्रेकिंग फॉर एक्झाम्पल आयर्न कॉपर ॲल्युमिनियम एक्सेट्रा ब्राझिंग इट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मेटल इन विच टू मेटल पार्ट्स आर जॉईन टुगेदर बाय इंट्रोड्युसिंग अ नॉन फेरस अलॉय विच इज हॅव्हिंग मेल्टिंग पॉईंट मोर दॅन फोर हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सिअस बिटवीन दम लास्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज सोल्डरिंग इट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मेटल विच इज यूज फॉर जॉईनिंग टू मेटॅलिक पार्ट्स बाय इंट्रोड्युसिंग अॅन अलॉय विच इज हॅव्हिंग मेल्टिंग पॉईंट लेस दॅन फोर हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सिअस बिटवीन दम नाव नेक्स्ट इज अलॉय डेफिनेशन ऑफ अलॉय That means the homogeneous mixture of two or more elements out of which one must be a metal. Types of alloy or classification of alloy. There are two types of alloy, ferrous alloy and non-ferrous alloy. Ferrous alloy, that means the alloy which contain iron as one of the major component. For example, stainless steel, magnetic steel, heat resisting steel. Then non-ferrous alloy. it is an alloy which do not contain iron as major component for example brass bronze etc next is purposes of alloy first purpose of making alloy is to increase the hardness of metal for example copper is added in gold and silver to increase hardness of gold and silver second purpose is to decrease the melting point woods metal is an alloy of bismuth cadmium lead and tin which is having melting point 71 degree celsius to decrease the melting point of each component alloying is done third is to increase corrosion resistant of metal stainless steel is the example of corrosion resistant alloy which is the combination of iron nickel chromium carbon next purpose of making alloy is to get good casting pure metal contract on solidification hence alloying is done for example duralumin brass bronze these are used for casting purpose next is to modify the color to modify the color alloying is done for example brass it contain copper which is red in color while zinc which is white in color for, but brass is having golden yellow color now let us see method of preparation of alloy there are two methods of preparation of alloy first is fusion method which is also known as binary fusion method in this method the component metal having higher melting point is melted first in a crucible and other component having lower melting point is added to it the mo- the molten mixture is stirred with graphite rod to avoid oxidation the surface of molten mass is covered with fine charcoal powder the molten mass is allowed to cool to give required alloy for example brass copper is melted 
which is having melting point 1089 degree celsius first and require quantity of zinc having melting point 419 degree celsius is added to get brass second method of preparation of alloy is compression method all types of solder alloys are made by compression method in this method the component metal powders are compressed in a mold and then heated to a temperature just below the melting point of an alloy for example wood's metal which is obtained by intimate mixing of required quantity of bismuth lead tin and cadmium powder is compressed under high pressure in a mold to get wood's metal there are two types of alloy ferrous alloys and non ferrous alloy ferrous alloy is classified into three types low carbon steel medium carbon steel and high carbon steel depending upon the percentage of carbon present in steel low carbon steel contain 0.05% to 0.3% of carbon medium carbon steel contain 0.3 to 0.6% of carbon while high carbon steel contain 0.6 to 1.5% of carbon let us see the properties of these three different types of carbon steel low carbon steel is soft malleable ductile and tough having low tensile strength and suitable for welding it is used for soft wires wires for rope chains rivets bolts nails etc medium carbon steel it is harder tougher than steel having high it is having high tensile strength and it is shock resistant it is used in railroads wheels axles springs gun parts machine parts etc high carbon steel is high carbon steel is quite hard produce skin cutting edge it is unweldable and high highest tensile strength it is used it is used for wood working tools and metal cutting tools cutters knives saws blades and non ferrous alloy for example brass bronze duralumin tin man solder and wood's metal let us see the composition properties and uses of these non ferrous alloys brass it contain copper 60 to 90% zinc 40 to 10% it is good corrosion resistant having low melting point and have greater strength and machinability it is used for making screws rivets plumbing fitting for casting decorative articles cheap jewelry utensils and musical instrument second is bronze it contain copper 88% and tin 12% it is highly ductile and harder resistant to corrosion resistant to corrosion it can be easily cast and machine it is used in architecture for structural design making utensils statues coins and in musical instrument next non ferrous alloy is duralumin it contain aluminum 95% copper 4% magnesium and manganese each 0.5% it is light tough and highly ductile it is corrosion resistant and good conductor of heat and electricity it is as strong as mild steel it is used in aeroplanes automobile for making cable surgical instrument and fluorescent tube caps it is also used for making housing cases next is tin man solder it contain tin 66% lead 34% its melting point is 180 degree celsius it is mainly used for joining tin articles last non ferrous alloy is wood's metal which contain bismuth 50% lead 25% tin 12.5% cadmium 12.5% it is easily fusible alloy with melting point 71 degree celsius which is used for making safety plugs walls dental work etc